and though it was far too large and more fearsome than she had ever anticipated, Gunhild launched herself wholeheartedly at the beast. Her spear gripped steadfastly. The future of her family was now in her hands, and the pride of their lineage was to be protected by this battle. Welcome once again to Octane Mobile Gaming. With yours truly, I Octane. So the deck is here. We're going to have a look at the deck. Then we're going to um, see what we can get from the vault. And then we're going to go from there. So first, let's look at the cards that we've got for this week. First up is the ultimate form, which is Fierce Family. And the deck is a noble killer deck. The event up next is a commander event. And the battle skill for the Fierce Family. It will create five Dark Power Gem 4s plus one additional for every 200 Noble Killer intensity. Then it will make all Noble Killer heroes go Berserk for two turns. Berserk heroes have 80% increased damage. And then they will heal for 400% of your recovery at the end of each turn. So after you activate the battle skill, you swap your gems. When the turn ends, then you'll heal for 400% of uh, heroes recovery. It's got a two turn cooldown, which is brilliant. And it's got a nine gem charge rate, which is not very bad. It's got, um, well, I'll say it has three passive. The first passive will, while you're, bers while you're not berserk, the hero will reduce damage taken for 20%. By 20%, not for 20%, but by 20%. So you take 20% less damage. Uh, encouraging cheer. So encouraging cheer. It will increase all the cards that's associated with this deck. It will increase their HP by 20%, which is quite an HP increase because if you look at the leader skill, you've got 600% um, increase in HP because of the leadership skill. Uh, and this card will also increase it by an additional 20%. That's encouraging cheer. And we've got haste on this deck as well. So haste is the third passive. So we all should know by now what haste is. You begin with you begin with all your battle skills fully charged. So the the um, battle skill for this one is quite straightforward. This deck, all the battle skills are quite straightforward. There's um, nothing sinister or hidden about the battle skills for this deck. This is the Master Collection card. The Master Collection card creates five Dark Power Gem 4s and it creates one additional for every 200 Noble Killer Intensity. Two turn, char two turn cooldown, nine gem charge rate. It's got Encouraging Cheer as well. So it will increase your HP, the HP of all the cards associated with this deck. I repeat again, all the cards associated with this deck. No other cards, just the cards associated with this deck. And all the names of the cards are at the top. The top. And it's got haste as well. So the complete deck has got haste. So now we're going to look at the ultra rare. And then we're going to talk a bit more about the, the three cards that we've looked at so far. So the battle skill for this one, it will cause all noble killer heroes to go berserk for two turn. And berserk will increase your um, damage by 75%. And at the end of the turn, it will heal for 400% of your recovery. Two turn cooldown, nine gem charge rate. The passive, while you're while you're not berserk, you will take 20% less damage and it's got haste as well. So your ultra rare does not create any power gems whatsoever. Passively or actively, it doesn't create any power gems. All it does, it heals and it increases your um your damage output. So the more ultra rare you've got on your deck, the less power gems you're gonna create. Less gems overall you're gonna create because it doesn't create any any gems or power gems whatsoever. It only increases your damage, which makes it, um, I wouldn't say counterproductive because it does increase your damage output. However, the fact that it doesn't add to your gem production or power gem production makes it, um, what would I say? It makes it a liability, if you see what I'm saying. 
your damage output is directly proportional to the amount of power gems that you create it doesn't matter how much damage how much how much increase you've had to your damage if you're not creating gems or power gems that is absolutely irrelevant it has no place on a deck that doesn't produce power gems you have to be producing power gems to have any use for damage increase and this card doesn't produce any power gems so for me personally it's not the mvp of the deck now the master collection card does produce power gems however you need 200 intensity to create an extra power gem for this card to create an extra five power gem you need 1000 intensity and it only creates five power gem five power gem fours so along with your ultimate farm which for me is the mvp of the deck and the reason why it's the mvp of the deck because not all the time the ultimate form is the mvp of the deck some of the time the master collection cards the mvp of the deck depends on what the master collection card does this one does everything it increases your hp it um, reduces your damage when you are not berserk it increases your damage output by eight percent it also creates power gems and it creates more power gems based on intensity however it's 200 intense 200 intensity which i've been saying for a long time 200 intensity is really too high really really too high so this one as well will create five power gems plus an additional one for every 200 intensity so if you've got two master collection card along with your ultimate form that's 15 power gems you're creating on the board initially now if you've got two ultra rare two master collection card one ultimate form you've only got 15 power gems on the board plus the ones that you're going to create from your relics and if you've got five relic on the board you'll only be creating an extra five power gems that gives you 20 power gems which is not bad all you need to do is build up your intensity to round about say 600 and each one of your cards your master collection card your two master collection card will be creating three each and your ultimate form will be creating an additional three which gives you nine so along with the five from your the five from your relics the initial five created by each one of your cards plus the extra nine that will give you a grand total of 29 power gems which is not bad that can do quite a bit until your your um intensity gets a bit higher so this deck is not a um it's not a two turn deck where on the second turn you're gonna deal massive massive damage it's a deck that will deal more damage as time goes on the damage doesn't increase as the intensity increase but saying that it will increase as the intensity increase because you'll be creating more power gems as your intensity increase however with this deck you could add cards to it to create more power gems but adding more cards to it to create more power gems which card do you supplement with a card that's going to create more power gems because if you're going to create more power gems you probably would need to remove one of your master collection card keep it to ultra rare and keep one master collection card to ultra rare and your ultimate form and in that way you'll be increasing your damage by i think it's 70 percent for so it's 80 percent for your your ultimate form and i think it's 70 percent for each one of your ultra rare 75% for each one of your ultra rare. Yep. So that would give you a grand total of 230. Which is um, quite good. I wouldn't say it's too bad. Moreover, later on, as we get more noble cards this ultimate form will become quite useful so it's it's a nice um utility card ultimate form is a nice utility card to have so let's take a look next at our support card so this is our support card I really like the artwork on the support card it's the same artwork artwork that is on the um the ultra rare 
so I really really like Gunhild the artwork is quite nice there's one other card that I really like the artwork on and it was um, Wendy when Wendy this just came out so let's take a look at the support card so the support card will create eight dark gems and it will heal for 10,000 percent of your recovery quite straightforward quite simple it's got haste as well so I think this support card is a nice support card creates gems and it heals quite straightforward quite simple clean cut clear nice support card like that support card not saying that's a brilliant support card but it's a quite straightforward support card you need a support card that heals and you need a support card that creates gems that's what you get from this support card you can ask some more but you won't get it anyway so you have to be satisfied with what you get now this one with his grandpa grandpapa fraud and he will create four dark power gem tools plus one additional for every 250 noble killer intensity now for me the intensity is too high but the fact that you can create more power gems based on intensity with a um event card is quite good I've been asking for this for weeks for weeks now I've been looking at event card after event card after event card and most of these event card are quite good but they would be far better if they could create more power gems based on intensity and this one is what I've been asking for I've been asking for an uh, event card that actually creates more power gems based on intensity to make it a lot more better than what it actually is so if you got two of these cards some of the time people get three of these cards if you got two or three of these cards you can create quite a few power gems on the board based on your intensity if you've got two support card or three support card and you got two event card you can create a nice deck it's not gonna be a brilliant deck but it's gonna be a nice deck because eventually you will be able to fill the board with power gems based on intensity and that's what this card does for you now this is absolutely good it's a start this is what we need from event cards we have seen it a few times before but from time to time network decide not to add the ability to actually increase the production of power gems based on intensity and some of the cards in past events would have been absolutely brilliant if they had this additional to their battle skill to create more power gems based on intensity so for, for me this event card it's not very powerful but it's useful it's usable because you can actually use this card to eventually fill the board with power gems so it's a nice card i like this event card the artwork is not too bad as well but i prefer the ultra rare and the support card to that one we we'll really like the artwork on those two cards quite nice vicious beautiful gorgeous a nice 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 artwork now the relics um let's have a look at the relics so the relic does the same old same old it will create you will get noble intensity it will break shield it will give you health increase your attack so on and so forth rare will increase attack so you have a flat up attack dark power gem create um dark, dark gems at the start increase your attack by 100 percent it gives you 1100 and 11 11,560 increase in hp and it gives you no killer intensity so those are your relic and now what we're gonna do we're gonna go into the pack and we're gonna see what we can get fingers crossed i'll be lucky this week and probably get the full deck before we get up to get the full deck before we get up to um tier three so gold go for gold no gold 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 go oh, yes so that's i think that's a rare relic not too bad it's a start let's continue okay so that's it for the cards for this um for this pool let's hope the next pool we can actually get a not not any more merry relics i don't want any more relics i would really like um ultra rare or monster collection card i think i deserve it 
from the last uh, two events I haven't got anything really worthy of celebrating for come on gold go for gold 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 okay rubbish crap so that's our guarantee um, support card and that's it for this um, for this one as well so there you go I've got two hammers which I haven't got any use for they absolutely I've got all the hammers that I really need anyway so I don't need any more hammers a lot of things that's in the um, vault needs to be taken out I think you should have a separate pack where you get hammers I don't think hammers should be in your in your event pack in the vault I don't think it should be it's it's not useful to the event it's useful in GVG so you should have a separate vault or a separate pack for GVG that's what I think with wardens and relics for GVG and all of that so if we don't get anything on this tier I'm not gonna go up to tier 4 I think the main card is I think the event card is a really good event card but if I go up to tier 4 I'm gonna spend 4,900 gems and if I spend 4,900 gems and I don't get anything it's absolutely pointless okay that's my guarantee relic so at least I've got a ultimate relic and that's all it's gonna be for this week so that's it for this week so I'm, I'm not gonna go up to tier 4 tier 4 I will not go up to tier 4 so now we've got evolution coins we've got shield the keys is not too bad the fallen one is not too bad but the shield and the evolution coin shouldn't really be shouldn't really be in the vault what I believe should be in the vault is things that are relative to the game relative to the event the shield is not relative to the event because we don't use shields you can use shields within the event but the shield is absolutely useful whenever you ever seen anybody using shield on their deck never you don't see people use shield on their deck so shield shouldn't even be a part of the, 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 the part of the game nobody used them the evolution coins you get so much evolution coins from the um, collection anyway nobody needs to collect those from the vault we don't need them the keys however is not too bad the fallen one is not a bad card it's a collector's item because it hasn't got any use but what I think network should be adding into the vault is past master collection card you've got so much flammer for example flammer on um, Nicole those are past master collection card that a lot of people would like to collect them they are collectors items they are, they are very useful but they are collectible why not add past master collection cards to the vault yes we do get past ultra rare in the vault but adding pass master collection card would be more useful some of the pass ultra rare for the deck since 3.0 started out could be added to the vault as well not only if they're part of the event but if they're even not part of the event the ability to actually get them from the vault would be nice pass master collection card you got flammer you got Nicole among others stick those in cards things that are collectors item I'm not collecting shields I'm not collecting evolution coins don't need them don't want them should be removed from the vault waste of my gem waste of my time not gonna go up to tier 4 I've already spent 2400 gems if I spend an additional 2500 gems that's 4900 gems I've spent and if I don't get anything I'm gonna be gutted because all I'll be getting is a main card or event card as some people call it uh, one support card one ultimate relic that's all I'll be getting for my 4900 gems I can try and get a event card from the, 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 the event if I don't then I'll use what I have to play the event let's craft our ultimate relic that's the ultimate relic let's see what the two pink star ultimate relic does break three noble shields increases uh, killer skill noble killer intensity by six okay so same whistle and bell 
Okay, anyway, I've got a uh, ultimate relic, can't complain. So what will I be using for this event? Um, not sure as yet, I'll probably see what I've got and I'll show you something that can actually compete in the event tomorrow in possible deck combo. Is the deck one to go for? I would say as a utility deck, it's good. The ultimate form will be a good utility card going forward. However, the ultra rare isn't really useful apart from on a um, noble killer deck. And all it will do, it will boost your damage output. It won't do anything else. So the master collection card is a bit better than the ultra rare. If ultra rare actually created even two power gems or even three power gem, it would be far better. It would be a far more powerful ultra rare than it currently is. The master collection card is a bit better because it actually produces four power gem, five power gem fours, and it has the ability to increase the power gem production based on intensity, which is not bad. The ultimate form has got all of those. It's got everything from the ultra rare, everything from the master collection card. It's got haste on it. It's got 80% boost in damage output going forward. It's a great card as a utility card going forward. So the ultimate form for me is MVP. It's the one worthy of getting. Should you chase after the deck? If you if you haven't got a, a commander noble killer deck, then if you've got the, the season coin, do go for it. If you've got the gems and you've already got the killer skill, I would say save your gems. It's better to save your gems. I'm expecting better decks to come out. I uh, think next week we're going to start seeing Gem Crush. Gem, Gem Crush is going to change the game. Totally. It's going to totally change the face of the game. A lot more cards will become more powerful. Even cards that are not powerful now will become vastly more powerful with Gem Crush. That's my take on it. So save your gems for later on in the year when we we'll start getting better decks. Okay. So that's all from me today. Tomorrow we'll do possible deck combination. So like, subscribe, and as always, this is Acting saying peace, stay safe, stay strong, and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.